Hello! In this video, you will learn about Redwood's Run My Jobs cloud-based workload automation and its architecture. Redwood's Run My Jobs workload automation solution was designed from the ground up to be a software as a service. It is simple to manage, secure by design, highly resilient and easy to keep updated. Whether the activities are on-premises, cloud-hosted or web services, they are all natively orchestrated from the same system. So legacy, modern and future can all work together. The Run My Job service is a two-tier architecture with a cloud tier and a customer network tier. The cloud tier primarily consists of two main components. The first component is a central server. Its main function is to perform the workload orchestration. The second component is the relational database. This is used to store the metadata on the processes that is relevant for the automation itself and what it is you actually want to execute. The database also stores objects such as calendar definitions, dependency relationships, and connection criteria that are called process servers. Broadly speaking, process server definitions are pointers to several different types of agent, and they securely hold the connection details or they represent the connection type. The first process server definition type is a pointer to a small, lightweight, customer-specific agent that executes operating system tasks, scripts, file triggers, and event-based automation. It can also perform agent-to-agent -agent transfers without the need for an FTP server. This type of agent resides in the customer network tier. The agent technology is self-updating. This means that you only need to install the software once and you can then forget about any labor-intensive upgrades and patches forever. The second type of process server links or connects to business applications such as SAP, Oracle, and other technologies like JDBC, SOAP, and REST. This means that Redwood can be used to automate any type of service. This connection is agent-less, not requiring any code or transports to be installed, and hence is maintenance-free once set up. The customer network tier is your environment. All access integrations to your landscape and applications, whatever they happen to be, are managed via a Redwood developed technology called a secure gateway for maximum security. The secure gateway is how the cloud tier connects to your applications and services and sits behind your firewall. Communication from the secure gateway is outbound initiated for additional security and authentication, and it serves for a tunnel through to the central server. Like the secure gateway, communication from any installed agents are also outbound initiated, creating a secure connection between agent and central server. Communication from the agents and secure gateway are encrypted via the HTTPS protocol. Output data, such as ERP spool files, are securely stored in the spool host. And this can be the same platform as the secure gateway sitting within your network. This means the data is not stored in the cloud and also eliminates unnecessary movement of data. Finally, the application is accessed via a web browser, such as Chrome or Firefox. So there is no need to download, install or distribute any client software components to the desktop. Role-based security profiles and adoption of single sign-on technology means that operators and users can safely access the Redwoods Run My Job solution. Administrators can use the admin dashboard to maintain the environment, as well as provide access to monitor current usage, define additional security profiles and much more. Redwood has a unique concept that allows for the best flexibility, 
the highest level of reusability of automation definitions and at the same time makes maintenance of your processes easier for you. Redwood does this by separating the key items that are needed to run a process. These are, first of all, the what. This is a combination of the actual instructions, ranging from simple to complex, and there's more on this in other presentations. The context, or relevant data, that is needed to run the instructions. Secondly, the who. This relates to the user information, credentials, and security profile of the user that is going to submit the automation. We then have the when. This connects the what and the who and specifies any timings, real-time event or file triggers, completion of another process, frequency and repetition of the workload if applicable. All of this information is then gathered into a process execution object that is then passed to the where which is a workload queue. The queue applies any rules that you have defined, such as the number of concurrent processes that are allowed to run, or any workload balancing. It then moves this onto the process server definition, which we now know is pointer to a connection or system or application. This in turn submits the workload onto the actual server or service for execution. Lastly, the entire submission and execution process can be monitored from beginning to end, from waiting to execution to completion, all via a simple web-based browser interface. Thanks for watching. For more information on Redwood's Run My Jobs, visit redwood.com.